just want to hop in the middle here, Bob? Yeah, if you want to hop right in oh. right there, and then if you guys sure. just want to, yeah, you know, take some turns. Asking Crazy questions. finish, man. We'll get him out of here so he can yeah. get a rest. That was um, beautiful. Thank you. I'm going to go back and watch that thing and probably find some not so beautiful things about it because that's what happens every time I fight. But the results is what matters, and the result is what I wanted. Big thanks to the PFL for making this happen. You know, I thought I was done, and uh, now I feel like I'm just getting started again. Obviously, you threw that knee, and you, you know, it just missed. Uh, what are you thinking as you, as you kind of back out from that after he threw it? Sean, did you just saw what After he threw that flying after knee? After he threw the flying knee, yeah. Uh, I was thinking, don't let him hit you with anything <laughs> because it's a big boy. And I, I came into this through camp thinking, don't let him take you down. <laughs> If he takes you down, get right back up. Don't let him get into an advantageous position. I let him do all of those things. And I still found a way to get out of it, which was encouraging. And then, you know, he hit me with a couple big shots standing, missed with one that probably would have been real bad for me. And I was like, okay, dial it in, move your head, find a way to get this done. And I, I'm one of those guys that if I land something on you, I feel like I have a great chance of finishing a fight. Just got to get myself better at landing those things. It, and it, it seemed like it took a lot longer to, to finish than it should have. I mean, he, it seemed like he was blocking a lot of those, but it seemed like it could have been stopped yeah, maybe look, in half the time. Keith's a great ref, and he, he tends to err, especially in something like this. He knows what's on the line for us, and he tends to err on the side of letting longstanding professionals work their way through problems. I don't think that he, he let Honey take damage that he isn't going to recover from. Uh, we saw this two weeks ago when Steven Seiler got dropped, and a lot of people, myself included, cage side, were like, wow, that could have been stopped. And Seiler found a way to work through it and got a win. That's great news for him and, and sets him up at the top of the standings uh, moving through this regular season. So uh, I, I would rather have a referee 30 fights in let me take one or two extra shots and give me a chance to work through it. So I hope that's how... Ronnie and his, his corner feel as well because Keith is a good ref. Can you talk just about this opportunity in general? Like you said, you thought you were done, but the, the, you'd come to the end of the road for that portion of your career, and, and here you are back now and in great position heading into your second fight in, in the regular season. Yeah, and, and look, it's not just in the fight, like in the actual cage, right? I thought that with my multifaceted interests and uh, professional abilities that being an exciting fighter for the UFC, that would open other avenues. And I begged them for opportunities to broadcast. And I never got so much as a phone call about it. And it took one conversation with the PFL to say, give me a chance. Just take a risk on someone who knows what they're doing. I promise you I will be good at this. And they gave me a shot at the opening show in New York City at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> And I got to broadcast next to Randy Couture and Boss Rutten and Eve Edwards. I mean, it's a dream. Well, then, I mean, tonight, I mean, how, how many guys do you know in the history of the sport are out there calling fights cage side and then get up and say, all right, guys, I got to go warm up for an hour and I'm going to go get in a fist fight? Look, I don't know if anyone's done it before, but I'm very sick of fighters being treated like they're only good at one thing or they only care about one thing or this is all that we can do in our lives, right? This sport is about sacrifice and being multifaceted. You're supposed to be good at everything, boxing, kickboxing, jujitsu, wrestling, judo, all of it. And we're gonna act surprised that someone is decent at radio or broadcasting and they can fight. Every fighter in the business is good at something. Firefighting, gardening, Thiago Tavares is a doctor in training right now. I mean, everyone is doing something else. People shouldn't be so surprised by it. Sean, you got a question for you, man. Like, when you get knocked him down and you were just, did you feel tired at all? Did you feel like, oh, man, I, I got to do something else. I go to plan B because the ref wasn't stopping it. Did I cross your mind at any point? No. Um, <laughs> I was surprised at how, how many of those punches he was taking without really changing posture, you know. A lot of times you hit someone with three or four and their hands drop as they, you know, it's like playing a video game. The power bar goes down, down, down until it gets to that blinking and then it's over. He was just rigid, still protecting himself. But in a situation like that, I mean, I could have punched for 25 minutes because I was just like, I'm not letting him get out of here. This is my chance to win this fight. So I was going to go until, you know, I was on empty. And that was a long way away. I could have kept punching for another 10 minutes if I had to. And did you check out some of the other fighters in our heavyweight division, like Vinny Magalash, big submission victory, you scouting these guys? So I, I actually didn't get a chance to see Vinny. Uh, I knew that 
I know Jamie a little bit, his opponent, and I knew what a stylistic matchup that was. I was obviously cage side for uh, Bozagit and um, and Max, and who else? Who did who beat Bozagit? Um, oh, uh, Dan Spahn. Yeah, I was cage side for that, and kind of watched that thing unfold. So that was uh, yeah. Th there's a lot of tough guys in my division, and guess what? I'm gonna beat all of them.